about 12 years ago almost that I thought I wasn't going to get through. And I pray to God none of you ever have to go through it. I know some of you in here have. But when you have to bury your own child, you know, things don't get much worse. It's never right when the old have to bury the young. And folks, I'm telling you, it wasn't anything the world has to offer that got me through that. It was the Lord that got me through that. And relying on Him and having a relationship with Him. So my testimony is to never give up. You know, the devil wants you to give up. The Bible says the thief comes but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Jesus said, I might, I came, you might have life and have it more abundantly. That's my testimony. Is I find abundant life through serving Jesus Christ. It's easy to do it the world's way. It's easy to lay down and quit. It's easy to blame everybody else. It's hard to take personal responsibility. It's hard to continue to strive forward. It's hard to take the next step. Man, there's days I don't feel like getting out of bed, but I get out of the bed anyway. Because people need the Lord. You don't know who's dependent on you. You don't know who's watching you. You don't know who you can touch in life that's going to make a difference to them. I have people come up and say stuff to me, say, hey, remember five years ago when you said this to me? I'm like, I oh, know. <laughs> you know? But it meant something to them at that time because they were going through something. Folks, we can't quit. We gotta gather together, the gathering. We gotta gather together. We gotta build a relationship with each other and help those around us. Because the bottom line is people need the Lord. That's all I'm gonna say tonight. Or I'll start preaching. <laughs> I don't know. I ain't caught it yet. Thank you, Dwayne. Is there anybody else that would like to share some testimony? Is there anybody else that has a story they'd like to share? We've got two left. Anybody want them? We've got a lot of powerful stories that people have related to me just in confidence. So if there's anything, would you like to share something? Um, sure. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Sure. Thank you. Why don't you give us like a, I don't know, five, six, seven minute response? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Hey, my name's uh, Ben Mullen. Uh, hey, I was born here and left the world. Yeah. I joined the military, came back to take care of my dad, and then he died, and then now I'm taking care of my mom. And I'm divorced. And I'm uh, 15, and you know, I'm not around my kid a lot, but if, if there's something that's really, it really weighs on my my heart a lot is is the children, and what we're what we're really leaving them with, and if I could have done a better job with, if I could go back and change things for me, you know, really, sometimes God's plan for us is a lot deeper than what we see, and uh, you know we might not be following God's plan too. And there, there was a time when I played music most of my life. Uh, I went astray and was playing rock music out in clubs and everything else and getting drunk and drugged up and like everybody else. And, uh, so I had, to go, I had to go learn through that process and how big of a waste something like that was. Um, sometimes, you know, with our kids, you, you got to let them burn their hand a little. And I, I, you know, and I was also thinking, you know, something I, I think a lot about lately is, us adults, I think we're just so smart and got everything together. And that we're just really just big kids, you know, and we still haven't grown up yet. And there's still so much, you know, that God has in store for us to learn. And you're never going to stop learning. And if you're really starving for God, God you're definitely not going to stop learning. Because it was, it was just too much. You know? uh, and, you know, I appreciate your brothers statement about making uh, the biggest thing a uh, personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Um, Jesus is the only way and people need to understand that that through him we, we can do nothing. That he is the word and that the word actually created along with God because he is God 
and that Jesus Christ is, you know, just as much to be respected as when we think of God the Father, you know, uh, if not more, because God kind of had to prove to us, you know, we were making blood sacrifices all the time in the past, that, that, that there was no sacrifice, that you couldn't give something back that belonged to God anyway, you know, it didn't make sense. So he had to send himself down, basically, and, and take a punishing for our, stu our stupidity, basically. And, you know, but sometimes when people are just looking, you know, God, well, you, you need to be more focused, I think, if, uh, if I can say anything that straightened me out was focusing more on my relationship with Jesus Christ, like our brother was talking about here. And that's... Uh, Maybe I'll get a chance to give you a better uh, presentation and give you a little bit more of my life. But uh, I will tell you this, that we're, you know, I was a big flub up, still am in certain ways, and, and we all are in, in certain ways, unless we let Christ work with us and use us as the clay, and he is the potter, and just keep it that way. This is our youngest members in the back. And what are their names? Uh, Landon and Xander. Landon and Sander, and they are how old? I'm old, but don't ask me which one. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. I guess you don't say a boy is beautiful, but they are beautiful. You can say that now, they get older, not so much. Huh? Please do not run old. Yeah, that's right. I think we're going to wrap it up. I want to thank you guys, uh, first and foremost, for coming out tonight. Again, thank you from um, those who served us this evening. Uh, if anybody has interest in uh, starting a new Bible study, I'm going to be right over here. Come over and talk to me. We'll get a list if you have an interest. Also, if anybody has interest in, in uh, learning more about how to, be, how to become a, uh, a minister, we minister to others in various capacities. The lay, lay ministry is a big part of our of our uh, ministry here at, uh, at Trinity, serving others in various capacities. Again, I'll be over here. We can talk about that as well. I hope you all enjoyed it tonight, and we would love to see you back next Wednesday evening at 6 p.m. God bless you. Be safe. God bless you. Oh, let me get the rest of that cookie, baby.